What's up guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing this morning? I gotta get this hair, this uh, haircut going on pretty soon. What's up, Bo? Working abs and lower body today. That's what we're doing. Hey, welcome house. Ugh. So, blimey, <laughs> how we doing? So, I'm John, everybody. I'm a personal trainer here in good old Dothan, Alabama. This new, that is why I'm here, to show you and tell you and help coach you and tell you that it doesn't take as long as you think it does, okay? If you're new, follow me and you'll kind of get a better idea of what I'm talking about, okay? But we do a lot of different things here on this uh, Periscope. We do therapeutic things, we do stretches, uh, pain management, muscle, gain muscle, lose weight, get ripped up, all right? So you can do it, let me help you, okay? What's up, Stu? Follow me, okay? Let me help you. You want some more personalized stuff? We can do that too, okay? We can make it happen. What's up, brother? So, had two clients this morning. Just knocked out a lower body workout. I'm here in the gym and I'm stretching, okay, right now. So, I did hamstrings, I've done some quads, I'm gonna stretch my calves right now, okay? And two main purposes with this video here, okay? I'm gonna show you uh, how to get a deeper stretch with a dumbbell, and I'm also gonna show you the right way to stretch your calves, okay? What did I have for breakfast? I had a bagel this morning. And I'm gonna try and broadcast here again in a few minutes. I think I'm gonna go to Waffle House and get a post-workout meal. And I'm gonna show you that you can eat out, okay, to still maintain and have a six pack. You can do it. You just gotta know what you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna try and come at you live here in a few minutes from Waffle House, we'll see. So a little anatomy here, I'm going to uh, not throw too much jargon at you. No, 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 not, no waffles. Um, but gastrocnemius and your soleus are the two main muscles that comprise of the calf. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to stretch both here. What's up, Ben? Replay this if, uh, if you're just joining in. Okay, guys? I'm going to show you, though, the first thing we're going to stretch our gastrocnemius. Okay? And this is one that everybody kind of knows about. All right, I'm going to show you how to do it on the wall first, and then I'm going to implement a dumbbell here, okay? So, uh, I'm going to set you down here. Let's get you propped up. Okay, so, the first calf stretch that everybody does is the one on the wall, okay? And during this video, I'm going to stretch my right calf, okay? Right back here. So, the one that everybody does and everybody knows is heel flat, and you just lean your body forward, okay? Okay. So, everybody knows that one. Everybody's seen that one. Well... I'm gonna show you how to make it better, make it deeper, okay? We want deep, static stretches at the ends, all right? So, you wanna hold these at the end of your workout, 30 seconds each, about three sets, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to implement a dumbbell in, all right? And all we're gonna do is just change the angle, okay? We're gonna go what's into called, uh, known as dorsiflex, okay? So we're gonna come up. Okay, not flat with the foot, we're gonna come up. And we're gonna use a dumbbell. Now the leg has to be straight, and again, I'm stretching the right calf here. So, dumbbell. Down. Right leg straight.
show you from a different angle here. My right leg has to be straight, guys. Straight. I'm just leaning forward with my hips. Okay. So that's the way you can implement a dumbbell. Okay, to just change the angle. All right, and by doing that, it increases the pull, the stretch on the calf. Yes, trust me. Try this out. Go home, do it in your living room, whatever. Get a dumbbell. Now, I will tell you, a heavier dumbbell works because it's off the ground more, okay? So try that, all right? That's the first one, okay? Now, the second one is a little bit harder to do. Let me know what you think, too, of uh, this new. Thank you, Bo. Now the second one is a little less known calf stretch, but it's for the smaller muscle in the calf called your soleus, all right? So in anybody who's had calf tightness and, uh, and pain and Achilles tightness and, and stuff like that, I, I, they will definitely appreciate this one, okay? Because this one is a little less known, it's harder to hit, but if you know how to do it right, it's, it's easy, okay? So same thing, your foot is flat. Again, I'm stretching my right calf. Foot is flat. And I'm going to be with a staggered stance, so just one foot kind of in front of the other. Now mind you, keeping my right foot flat on the ground, I'm just going to drop my hips straight down while keeping my heel flat to the floor. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. Again, right calf. All right, that's what we got for you today, guys. All right, so two new calf stretches there for you, all right? Now, try these out and do them after a workout. Never start with these, okay? Remember, we've talked about dynamic warm-ups. You want to warm up through motion, okay? So try these out. These are two new ones for you here. Achilles tightness. Um, a lot of calf tightness, okay, these should alleviate some of that tightness and some of that pain, okay? So try these out, guys. Again, I'm going to try and come at you here in a little bit, and uh, I'm going to show you, hopefully, that you can eat out and maintain your six-pack, okay? So <clears throat> I will see you guys soon, all right? Let's go get something to eat, some post-workout here, and let's keep them intact. Okay, guys? Be good. Have a good day. Share this around. Thank you.